Hi, thanks for clicking on this video. I hope you'll stay and join us for class. My name is Brittany, I'll be guiding you. And this is Allison, she'll be showing you the more modified versions of these stretches. Gravity yoga is targeted mobility training. It involves holding stretches for a longer period of time, passively relaxed so that gravity does most of the work. Today will be the second part in our series on unlocking the tight body. So we'll be focusing on the hamstrings, hips, and the back. Today you'll need blocks, a yoga mat, or somewhere soft to work on. And we'll go ahead and get started establishing the breath that we use throughout class. That's our four to eight breath. It's an inhale through the nose to the count of four, and an exhale out the mouth to the count of eight. With that exhale, you want it to be an exaggerated sound, like you're fogging up a mirror. This is gonna to help to relax the stretch reflex, helps to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which will help you get through these long hold stretches because it definitely gets really intense. So we'll go ahead and do a few rounds of breath before we get started. Come join us on the ground, find a comfortable seated position. If sitting on the ground isn't comfortable for you yet, sit in a chair and with help with these videos, you'll be able to get there soon someday. So go ahead and ground your tailbone down into the earth. Lift the crown of your head up, bring your chin parallel with the ground. Relax your shoulders down. You can place your hands on your knees. Close your eyes if that feels good. Empty out all stale air. Go ahead and breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale out the mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale back the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale out the mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, I'll be cueing that throughout class. If that is too intense for you, feel free to do an inhale through the mouth or through the nose to the count of three. Exhale your mouth to the count of six. We'll get started with our moon squats. So come to stand, bring your feet out wider than your hips, toes point out slightly. Moon squats help to articulate all the major muscles and joints in our body, warming us up for class. So go ahead and cross your forearms, make fists. Sit back like you're sitting back in a chair as far as you can, drop your head and neck. Inhale, rise up, reach up towards the sky, spread your fingers. Exhale, cross your forearms, make fists, sit back. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, cross your forearms, sit back. Inhale, rise up, stretch. Exhale, sit back, cross your forearms. Now drop your hands down to the ground and move your hips side to side. Take a moment here. Now if your heels rise up a lot throughout that, go ahead and fold up a blanket or a towel, put it underneath your heels to give you some more stability. We'll do one more round of those. Cross your forearms, make fists, ground down into your heels. Inhale, rise up, stretch up, spread your fingers, look up. Exhale, cross your forearms, sit back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sit back. Inhale up. Exhale back. One more time, breathe in, rise up. Exhale, sit back, drop your head and neck. Now bring your hands, your knees down to the mat. Come into a tabletop position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees, tops of the feet are tuck, tuck your toes. Bring your hands, palms down, toes point towards your knees. Sink your hips back towards your heels, stretch into your wrists. Drop your head and neck. Good, and rise back up, untuck your toes, tops of the feet are down. Bring your hands back underneath you, fingers pointing to the front of you. Take a breath in, lower your belly, arch your back, lift the crown of your head and tailbone up. Exhale, round your spine, press the floor away, look for the top of your thighs. Inhale, 
Drop your belly, low back. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest. One more time, breathing, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. Good, come to a neutral tabletop position. Coming into our first long cold stretch of the class. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Grip into the mat, spread your fingers nice and wide. Now Allison's gonna put blocks underneath her hands as a modified version if you're dealing with really sensitive wrists. Good, tuck your toes, send your hips up and back into down dog. All right, walk your hands wide and your feet wide, a little bit wider than you normally would. So you're getting more lateral rotation in your hips and opening up your shoulders more. If your hip heels are rising way up, walk your hands closer towards your heels, press them down, drop your head and neck, straighten into your arms, Bend into your knees as much as you need to if you're working with tight hamstrings. You can shake your head, yes, no. Release any tension in your neck. If this gets really intense, you can drop your knees down for a moment, but get right back into it. You're stretching out your calves, your hamstrings, all along the back side of your body. You're opening up into your shoulders. Let's focus back on the breath as it starts to intensify. Take a breath in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe back in, nose, one, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax any tension in your jaw. Relax your face. You're strengthening the front side of your body right now while stretching along all the back side of your body. Good, you're doing great. Continue to spread your fingers nice and wide, grip into the ground. Keep a bend in your knee while you straighten into your arms, press your chest to the tops of your thighs. Continue to relax your head and neck. Breathe back in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale, mouth. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Good, we're almost there, you got it. Keep relaxing into this. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And start walking your feet back in towards one another. Slowly bend into your knees, bring your knees down to the earth. Great job. That's not easy. Take a child's pose, take your hips back, hands reach out in front of you. Good, and then come back up to tabletop. Wind your left leg forward. Back knee is down, top of the foot is down. Reach for your blocks if you have them. You're gonna heel toe your foot so it is right underneath your knee or a little bit in front of it. You might need to use your hand to get you there. So 
So you can ground down to all four corners of your front foot, or you can roll into the pinky side edge of your back foot. You can have the pillows or blocks underneath your hands, or if your back knee is tender, you could always place a pillow or even an ab mat underneath it. And go ahead and get started. So sink your hips down towards the ground. You can come onto your forearms. You're getting deep lateral rotation in your front leg and deep hip flexion. And then in your back hip, you're getting deep hip extension. So this is really great for helping you get deeper into squats to get more mobility back in your hips. We lose a lot of mobility as we get older, as we sit more, we start to lose that mobility. But the great thing about mobility is that you can get it back. Once you lose it, it doesn't mean it's gone forever. You can get it back. And with gravity yoga, these poses, they're really hard, but they will get you there in a faster way. So go ahead and deepen back into your breath. Inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale out your mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep relaxing your head and neck. Maybe you find your hips sinking more and more down to the ground. The first principle of gravity yoga is that four to eight breath to relax the nervous system. The second principle is wet noodle. So relax as much as you can because your muscles stretch better when they're relaxed. In the last 30 seconds here, go ahead and straighten back into your arms. Press your right hand down into the ground. Take your left hand, press your left thigh away and twist towards the left. Look past your shoulder. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, release. Come out of it. Step your right, your left leg back. Press back to child's pose real quick. Reset. Good. Let's get right back into it. Come back into tabletop. Wand your right leg forward this time as much as you can, and then use your hand if you need to to get your ankle in line with your knee or even slightly in front of your knee. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Top of the foot is down. You could try to slide your back knee down a little bit more to open up more into your hips. Good. And keep your arms straight if that feels good or using blocks or coming down to the ground. You can come down onto your forearms. Drop your head and neck. With every exhale, allow your hips to drop down closer to the ground. Another really great thing about mobility is once you put in the work to get your mobility back, mobility lasts for years. So this can seem like a lot right now in this moment, trying to hold on to these stretches. It's sometimes really hard to get through it, but it's worth it once you start opening up into your muscles again, stretching out your muscle and your fascia. That doesn't go away overnight. It can last for a very long time. So it's worth it to put in the time and effort. Notice your breath. Go ahead and deepen back into it. Breathe in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. You're fogging up a mirror, really exaggerate it. 
Relax your face. Relax your head and neck. Continue to roll into the pinky side edge of your front foot if that feels good. Start to straighten your arms, ground down into your left hand. Take your right hand to your thigh, press your thigh away, and twist over towards the right, opening up the hip, sinking your hips down, relaxing into this as much as you can. Good, you're doing great. Stay with it. And slowly come back through center. Place your hand underneath your shoulder. Step your front foot to meet the back. And press back into child pose. Reset yourself. Child pose doesn't feel good to you. You can just sink your hips back as far as you can go. You don't have to go all the way back. And then start to inhale to rise up. And start to slowly bring yourself all the way down to the ground. Stack your elbows underneath your shoulders. Tops of the feet are down. Bring your elbows in line with your wrists and then spread your fingers wide. Imagine dragging the ground towards you as you slide your chest forward. Bring your chin parallel to the ground. This is called Sphinx Pose, and Sphinx Pose is really good for resetting your back. It stretches into your mid-back, your upper back. It's the safe mini back bend that we can do during the day when we're feeling a lot of back tightness, especially if you're sitting at a desk most of the day. Relax your shoulders down. Press your pelvis into the ground. Feel your tops of your feet in your mat or on the floor. Let's deepen back into our breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale nose. Exhale mouth. Think wet noodle, relax the muscles that you can. And then the third principle of gravity yoga is to meet or beat your whole time. So if you need to tap out of the pose, go ahead and do so, get right back into it. The next time you do this video, see if you can last a little bit longer. In these last few seconds here, if your back is starting to feel more open and warmed up, go ahead and walk your hands out a little bit forward. Straighten into your arms. Chin up, parallel with the ground. Good. Breathe. And then slowly release. Bring your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Stand your right arm next to you. Breathe in, lift your left heel up towards the sky. Exhale, cross it over to the opposite side. Drop your temple, your cheek down towards the ground. Go ahead and switch it out. Roll back to your center. Mm -hmm. Bend your right hand underneath your shoulder. Extend your left arm up to you. Inhale, lift your right heel up towards the sky. Exhale, cross it over to the opposite side. Relax your temple, your cheek down to the mat. Roll onto your side. Good. Come back through center. And then press yourself up. Come to a seated position. For double pigeon. 
bend your left knee, bring it out in front of you, bring your shins parallel to the top of your mat, your imaginary yoga mat if you don't have one. Bend your right knee, stack it on top of your left. So you want your knee and ankles in one line and your shins as parallel as you can get them. If you're working with a lot of tightness right now and this is impossible, you can take a block or a pillow, put it underneath your bum to lift yourself up a little bit more. Option to even extend your bottom leg out in front of you. You're gonna take your forearms, palms up, press them down onto your thighs. Reach your head forward, look forward, then drop your head down. Here we go. So you're applying light pressure onto your top thigh, which is opening it up. This is a really effective stretch. If sitting cross-legged is so uncomfortable for you, if getting on the ground is uncomfortable for you, this is gonna be a really effective stretch for you. And we just want that mobility to be able to sit on the ground, get up easily, sit down easily. And if you can sit comfortably in a cross-legged position, that's a pretty good indication that your hips are nice and open. So let's get there, let's work for it. Apply pressure if you need to ease out for a moment, that's fine, get back into it. It's okay if your knees are up really, really high, that's why you're here, let's work with that tightness. Apply pressure, drop your head and neck. Notice your breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale nose. And exhale now. Breathe into your top hip flexor. Relax the muscle. The more you deepen into your breath, it says send signals to your body that it can relax so it's easier to get deeper into the stretches. Good, we're almost there. Lean forward. Good, and slowly rise up. Bring your hands back behind you and cross your legs. Soles of the feet are down. Windshield wiper your legs, your knees side to side. Good, then switch it out. Bend your right leg, bring it underneath you. Take your left leg, bend it, stack it on top of the right. And then again here, you have that block, keep that pillow underneath you if you need to, or extend the bottom leg out underneath you. Bring your forearm down onto your thigh, apply pressure, look forward, lean forward, drop your head and neck. Ease out of this if you need to. And then come right back into it. Relax your head and neck. Relax your face. Relax your muscles as much as you can while you hold this. Press your tailbone down as you apply pressure. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale, mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in back nose. Exhale, mouth. Good, you're almost there. Shaking, numbness, all okay. 
tends to get really intense. So that's when you feel like the numbness, almost like it's falling asleep. When you come out of the pose, it tends to go away right away. So try to stay with it. Suffer with us. We're here with you. You got it. We're almost there. Keep applying that pressure, leaning forward, pressing your tailbone down. Good, one more deep breath in. And exhale yourself out of this. And cross your legs. Keep a bend in your knees, soles of the feet are down. Reach for the back of your thighs, tuck your chin to your chest, and slowly roll yourself all the way back. Keep the bend in your left leg, lift your right heel up, cross it on top of your left. Take your right hand, press your right thigh with. And then to go deeper, reach your arms through, reach for the back of your left thigh or for the front of your left shin, draw your knees into your chest. Or release your hands to the ground to a T or goal post position and gently let your knees fall all the way over towards the left side or figure four to five twist. Take your left hand, take it to the outside of your right thigh, apply a little bit of pressure Mm. We're going to roll back through center, switch it out. Bring your right sole of your foot down to the ground, lift your left heel, place it on top of your right thigh. Take your left hand, press your left thigh away. Stay here or go deeper by reaching through, reach for the back of your right thigh or your shin, bring your knees in towards your chest. Then open your arms to the ground and gently let your knees drift all the way over towards your right side. And an option to take your right hand, apply pressure to the thigh. Allow your spine to twist just a little bit more. Slowly bring your knees back through center, uncross your legs. Bring your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your top of your, your shins rather. And bring your knees into your chest, take little circles in one direction and then the other. And then bring the soles of your feet down to the ground, press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. We'll close class by doing our four to four breath. That's an inhale through the nose to the count of four, exhale out the nose to the count of four. So go ahead, ground your tailbone down, bring your hands to your knees, bring your chin parallel to the ground, relax your shoulders down. Breathe in through your nose, one, two, three, four, Exhale, nose, four, three, two, one. Inhale, nose, one, two, three, four. Exhale, nose, four, three, two, one. Put one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. May this practice heal and strengthen your body and mind. May this practice heal and strengthen your body and mind. Good job. Thank you so much for being here. You did a great job. If you stuck with it, thank you. If you just watched, that's great too. Allison, how are you mm -hmm. feeling? I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling nice and stretched out mm -hmm. and like, like I relieved a lot breathing. Good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope you had a similar experience. We will see you again in the next video. Take care.